Hello everyone, this is your boy Willie V, aka Boo Boy Kennels. This uh, short uh, tutorial tip is on, uh, this quick tutorial tip is on uh, using uh, the WordPress and also um, QuickTime's export to web feature. Now I've done a uh, video tutorial on this before, uh, but this one's a little bit more uh, added to it. Now, uh, one of the things I do want to show you is let me just switch over to that window. Uh, if you use QuickTime Pro, you know when you use the export to web feature, it creates certain files for you. You'll, um, you'll have your, your poster image, the reference movie that it creates, and you'll see that three times within the code that it provides for you that goes within your page as well as the uh, uh, JavaScript and uh, style sheet information that's needed as well that has to go within your uh, header. Now what I wanted to point out is in Safari on the Mac side of things uh, everything shows up perfectly with the code the way it is now the problem that I found was that using Windows say with uh, with a Firefox as I have here Firefox and Windows and uh, with Internet Explorer this is all in Windows now these are the latest versions as of um, May 6 2008 now the problem that I found with both of these were that the images were not showing up nor were the videos playing but yet in Safari on the Mac side it was showing up and it was playing correctly now what I did find that what was causing the problem is that for some reason in WordPress it does not it does not play very well with the reference movie so for instance the reference movie is .mov where my original movie may have been .m4v maybe even .mov maybe even .mp4 also the uh, poster image in some cases, and now this you want to you want to test to make sure, but I found that in some cases the poster image would not show as well. So what I did to fix that was I took the same poster image, opened it up, whether it be in preview, uh, any any photo editor of your choice, resaved it as a JPEG image, and rather than using the reference movie file I use the actual movie file so most of my movies as I said are .m4v .mp4 so I use that rather than the reference movie that it creates for this particular page now again it's in three areas that the reference movie is in that you'll need to make these changes so be sure to make the proper changes where you need to make them at. So to demonstrate, so to demonstrate, I'll show a uh, quick preview in uh, Safari for uh, the Mac OS 10. Let me uh, just click on that. Hi, this is Niaja, and you're listening to Magic Fingers. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see in Safari, it plays. Now I'm going to go to Firefox. As you can see, I'm in Firefox. And this is the latest build as of May 6, 2008, which I actually just downloaded the update yesterday, as a matter of fact. I don't use Windows very much at all, so the update may have been out for some time. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, play that in, in um, Firefox. Same exact video. All right, now you may not hear no audio because I have it through a virtual virtualization setup, so it's it's not gonna really share my audio card the way I have it set up with doing the uh, screen recording. But you can see that the video is playing, so if the video is playing. That means so is the audio. All right, let me uh, jump over to the Internet Explorer side. This is Internet Explorer Seven again with the latest updates and we're going to jump into that video the same same exact video as well all right well now you see that not only in Safari for the Mac OS 10 but also Firefox and Internet Explorer on the Windows side now this is on Windows XP Pro which I'm sure home is exactly the same thing using the latest builds of IE 7 and Firefox for the Windows platform now I have not tested this on any other browser but you can feel free to do so and try out those tips. Again, when you're using the export for web feature in QuickTime Pro, make sure to change the reference movie file to your actual um, to your actual movie in all three locations. And that way you'll be able to embed your uh, QuickTime QuickTime formatted movies in your WordPress blog. Again, this was a uh, Willie V of iTexture.com. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch.